Hello and welcome to Separate Bathrooms. My name's Ali Datto. This is my husband, Cam. G'day. Uh, before we begin, we would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, the traditional custodians of this land, and pay our respects to the elders, both past and present. You feeling relaxed, Cam Dad? Mate, if I was any more relaxed, I'd be asleep. <laughs> Well, I like that. I reckon. I like that. And you do After, spend a lot of time asleep, so that you must no, be... No, actually, you think I do. <laughs> I probably used to, and I take a lot of cat naps. That is the truth. Yes, you do have a lot of cat naps. But, uh, yeah, my sleep is a little broken these oh, days. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, been... I don't want that for you. You yeah. don't need two people not sleeping in the house. Yeah. It's not good. You know, the weird thing is the, uh, the, the fan in... The next door bedroom, yep, is creates this effect on in through the wall, and I'm hearing it, and I'm fixating on it. It's keeping oh, me awake. Interesting. But the fan keeps our sun cool. So do you need some um, earplugs? I have maybe. plenty. Oh, yes, you do. I will share mine with you. Okay, th- oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, Thunny, thank you. <laughs> Don't know what that's got to do with earplugs. Well, but no, I am relaxed because we've just had a holiday. We have. And um, it was delicious, delightful, de- lovely. lovely. Yeah. yeah, we knew where you were going with that. Mm, mm. We were really fortunate to have the brief holiday that we did. We yes. went to the Wit Sundays, the Wit Sundays, mm. that a place that neither of us had been to, which was actually amazing. I mean, not so much for me because I haven't travelled nearly as much as you have, but. To be able to go somewhere that you haven't gone was just exciting in itself. Well, number two, one, we're, we're two for two now because we had Scotland at Christmas time. I had been there though. Oh yeah, but we hadn't been there together. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's what I mean. When when we get to experience yeah. a new place together, that's yeah, that was really exciting for me to be yes. able to go. We're going to see something new together. That's mm. that was important. So it was. It was really really gorgeous. I remember back in the. In the 80s, uh, the Whit Sundays, Hayman Island, Hamilton Island were like destination A places yes. to go. And that was back in the day when when I was handsome and modeling and uh, doing handsome. those. But I never, thank you, I never <laughs> got the gig. I never got the gig to go to Hamilton Island or Hayman Island to do one of those catalog shoots <laughs> <laughs> people did there, running up the beach in Le Spec sunglasses. Right, and yeah. Tidy Speedos and looking, making it look like. But it truly was um, as gorgeous as those brochures uh, portrayed it to be, especially like Whitehaven Beach and, oh my and gosh. flying over the reef and doing things like that. Oh was, my gosh. Mm. Well, what was so special too is, you know, we, as we had mentioned on this podcast before, we had a holiday in Scotland. It was a bucket list holiday. We'd, we'd been saving for ages and <laughs> we took our, our big kids and our son's boyfriend with us. And it was a brilliant holiday. Mm. I mean, we just loved it. Though to then experience a holiday, and yeah, it was it was three and a half days. Yeah, but, but it was back to our normal style of holidaying because the Scotland holiday was a long one. This one was back to how we normally do it, which is three or four days. Oh, away. right. I see That's what, what you're I mean. saying. Yeah. Though to have, um, yeah, to have a holiday with just you. I am trying to track back the last time, I guess, at, it was pre-Lotus. It was pre-first baby. We've not had a holiday, just the two of us together. No, we've not. I really? can't think of anything. No, I can't think of anything. <laughs> wow. So that's 20, over years. 27 years at least. It's a long time. That's, I'm trying, now you've stumped me because I'm now I'm going, racking through my File, yeah, <laughs> mental file. Going, there must have been a time when we went away for a weekend by ourselves. But I guess you're right. Maybe, yeah, maybe like a a weekend or a mm. night here, but not where we've actually got in a plane mm. and flown somewhere for the specific plan of having a holiday. And I feel like we did. We followed the doctor's orders. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we followed the therapists and the, yeah. the counsellors and yeah. experts that come on separate bathrooms. Yep. We followed their 
We followed their lead and yeah. said, and went away on a holiday. They say it, they all say it, don't they? H- have time to reconnect, make sure that you you do that. And did you reconnect? Did did you? <laughs> I did. I very much, I very, very, very much felt reconnected to you. Right. Yeah. We bonded over it. We went on a crocodile safari. Yes. <laughs> Which was incredible. Our our guide was so knowledgeable oh. and charming and fun. And there we are going down the... Oh, What's the river? Proserpine. Thank you. Proserpine River. And um, he said, there's one. There's a croc. And I'm like, oh my God, where's the, I'm looking and see this five meter big barry yeah. crocodile. And then he t- draws our attention to a six inch stick in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, that's the croc. And I'm like trying Come to zoom on. in on my, on, my, on my iPhone to take a picture of it. It's like, wait, wait, wait where? <laughs> I'm thinking, the fact he spotted it was amazing uh, as well. <laughs> amazing. But that worried me because he's looking for six inch yeah. crocodile. Well, you know, it's a bit bigger than that. It's probably yeah, a foot yeah. long, but you know, like a subway foot long. Super cute um, though. But looked like a stick. And uh, <laughs> I thought, wow, that's what he's looking for. Are we going to see any cr- big crocodiles on this? And then t- for me, everything looked like a crocodile after that because all the sticks in there were I was like, is that one? Is that one? No. Nope. No. Nope. No, that's a stick. Nope. <laughs> that's just a stick. <laughs> uh, you got that right. But we did see the, the big mama at the end. Yeah, we've nest. got like 20 seconds to go. I mean, there's the the area where we embark and disembark from our, our punt that we uh, took up the river and we're almost there. And then he backs this, he wheels this thing around. And he goes, oh, there she is, there she is. Mm. And up on the bank was like a two and a half meter mama. Yeah. And uh, she was sitting by her nest and she looked like a log. Yeah. Up there. A big log. A big log up on the bank. And, uh, and luckily I was the last one to get the turn to take a photograph of it. And I had my video on and she swung around and moved. So we got yes. a little movement in it. I'm sure old mate Barry, who was our guide, was like, it was, oh, thank God for you. Well, his name was Steve. But okay. Yeah. So Steve. <laughs> Steve, Steve, <laughs> Alan, Alan. Alan. Uh, but Steve, I mean, <laughs> Steve was like, uh, he, I mean, when you said knowledgeable, oh, yeah. this man spoke for nonstop for hours and was able to just impart so much knowledge. And for me, as a as queen of the documentaries who will watch documentaries till the cows come home and even a documentary about cows, I was <laughs> blown away, like how fantastic he was, uh-huh. just on and on and on about the knowledge and the river and you know, and then it was just so great. Yeah, and then we we get off the river, and then he takes us in this train uh, that was pulled along by a tractor through through the meadows, and he's giving us a whole bush tucker yeah. talk. Yeah, bush tucker talk. And uh, talking about the the bird wildlife, and then we get back to the camp, and they make beautiful damper with mm. flies in it. Billy, that also was known as fly. sultanas. Okay, yeah, yeah, he said they were flies. Right. But it was so delicious. It was Billy a great T. day out. Billy, it was a Billy great how good day. is Billy T? I know. Easy to make too. I but know. Better. We said we were going to do that when we got home, remember? Yeah. We were going to do make Billy T <laughs> on our fire pit. How many things do people say we're going to do this? We're going to do that. Away. We're going to do that. I'm yeah. going to cook that one again. <laughs> but that's the whole point of going away. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. No, that was that was really fantastic. Uh we took a catamaran out to um the islands. That one I was, I have to tell you, I was a wee, nerv- wee bit nervous, I have to say, because I'm not- For what reason? Well, I'm not great on boats. I'm not a great boat person. Um, I hate waves, like okay. with a passion. Mm-hmm. Um, I took some- um, You don't like lumpy, lumpy ocean, do you? Don't lumpy like waves. it. I yeah. like flat ocean. And mm. there'd been a, we, we were just at the tail end of a cyclone when yeah. we were there. So that actually- uh, cancelled some of the boat trips beforehand. I'm th- all I'm thinking is like we're going to be out. There's going to be massive waves. I'm going to be throwing up on the sides. But no, uh, it was beautiful. It yeah. was flat. It was sunny. It was 
crystal gorgeous clear water at Whitehaven Beach. We looked incredible in our stinger suits. I mean, we talk should about post taking- a, we should post a few more of those pictures. Actually, <laughs> there's some pretty funny ones. That's what that's what we should have taken home with us, honey. Is the, the stinger, stinger suit? suits to just reminisce over over how fabulous we looked in them. I mean, as every a lump of fact, of bar- as a matter of fact. <laughs> of- I have one. You have one? I've yet to pull it out. Oh, okay. But I will surprise you one Just of Just bring nights. it on out for the It'll memory. It'll be a bit of midnight madness in the stinger suit. Nice, <laughs> nice. But we were very good tourists. We wore our stinger suits. The, every time we were in the water, we wore them. Well, my, my highlight of the trip mm. was actually when we were at Whitehaven Beach, which was like – almost indescribably beautiful, mm. um, just sitting in the shallows mm. with you in our stingers. <laughs> with our hoodies on. <laughs> with our hoodies on. Um, and just lolling about in that water and hanging out there and just chatting in, in that crystal clear water. It was just, I mean, yeah, and having the, the time to do that was so special. It was, I agree. I loved it too. And the thing was, we couldn't have been in that water as relaxed as we were if we didn't have those suits on. Because I must say, several of our boat party did not have the stingers on. And they looked really nervous. Uh, They did. They were tiptoeing around. (laughs) As you would. As you would. Yep. As you would. Um, But no, it it was very relaxing sitting in that water. I agree. My highlight Began with, was it Kenny, the tuk-tuk driver? Marty. Marty. Jeez, I'm good with names at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, Steve, (laughs) Alan, Alan. (laughs) Marty. Marty, the tuk-tuk driver. Okay, so I don't know what we're going to expect in this tuk-tuk ride. So Marty takes us around the marina through Early Beach. He's telling us about the restaurants to go to. This is not an ad for Wit Sundays, but you have to go to Northerlies on the other side of Airly. And then he tells us about this other restaurant, which is up the top of the hill. So that night we head up the top of the hill. We have a lovely dinner up the top. We walk back through Airly Beach and there's toad races. Oh, is that your highlight? One of them. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. That was fun. Yeah, Yeah. because it's toad races in the pub and people are betting on one of four to- or you buy the toad, really. I mean, you don't get to keep it, but yeah. you, but but you you it, there's a full auction going on to put money on the back, not literally, figuratively, of course. Uh, how much money's on each toad? And so these 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 guys, these young blokes, are standing next to Ali and I, and they're just they're just going at this auction. They end up paying about I don't know two hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. For for toad number one, and and he turns to me and he goes, "You always the lo- the the numbers are always low on the first one, two, three, and four. They're always higher." And he was right. The Is toads it like always bet on black, like always buy the first. Always toad. buy the first toad. Yep. And so the race is worth about thirteen hundred bucks, and the master of ceremonies lifts up the bucket, and there's four toads. <laughs> The crowd is hyped, hyped, hyped up. (laughs) (laughs) Toad number three, boink, one hop, two hop, bam, in the wall. He wins. It was was like 0.5 of a second, the race. (laughs) It's like, done. Oh. (laughs) And we're out. It was hilarious. But everyone would get crazy. So, you know, there's a lot to do. Toad races, boat, boating. Well, as, as as we said, you know, when oh, we first awesome. got there, we were not sure how much there was to do. Like, well, not that we weren't not sure. We didn't understand how much there was to do. There was like so many things to do up there. It's it's really a tourist haven. Mm. And the more we spoke to people who were part of, you know, the tours that we went on, the crocodile safari, the tuk-tuk, the guy that flew the plane, they were... They were locals, but they were locals that had um, lived there for, you know, 10, 15 years. Mm. They'd come for a holiday and never left. Mm. And the thing that they talked most about was the people as well. And because there's so much um, tourism up there, the service industry is really huge. So if you're in the service industry, you want to be a people person. 
And that's why you stay. That's why you stay in that industry. So they were just these really lovely, friendly, chatty people everywhere we went. They just Mm. had, they were happy to be there. They loved where they lived. Mm. And they were just so happy to show us how beautiful the Whit Sundays were. So that's that's what I loved about it as well. Just th- how constantly happy people were about you know where they were and what they were doing. Yeah, it really is. It is a paradise up there. It's fantastic. So where are we going next? What are we doing next? Well, I, I would <laughs> love. Well, you haven't been across to WA yet. Oh, I know. You know, so there's there's that vast territory, yes. state to uh, to take in, and uh, you know. I'd love to go to the the middle part, Ningaloo, where yes. the whales are. Yeah, that's a bucket list. That would be good. Yeah. Oh, look, anywhere. I just think the whole point of going away, reconnecting, it could, I mean, look, my sister heads up, you know, an hour away to go on a caravan park. It's it getting, doesn't matter. It's getting out of your, your usual routine. Yeah. That's, that's how to reconnect. I mean, we don't, we we weren't on our phones. No. We um, we were out for dinner. All it was about was being with each other again. And you can do that. I mean, you can do that at home, but it's it's a lot easier when you leave your home comforts behind and you're in a new place together. So hmm. we did what the therapist said to do. <laughs> <laughs> we did reconnect. It was, I loved it. And as I said to you, there's not a single person in the whole world I would have wanted to share with Sundays with than, than you. I just loved it. Oh. I loved having that time with you. So thank you for coming with me. Thanks, sweetheart. Yeah, I was Ali's plus one. Yeah. <laughs> it was so nice. Was oh, so right nice. back at you. It was lovely. Lovely to hear that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And I, as I, and I do say, you know, to you go anywhere. It doesn't have to be an exotic place. It just get out, as you say, get out of your normal, get out of your usual. Go for um, Go camping, do something. Yeah. But, but just to take that time, the relationship's worth it. Yeah. It absolutely. is worth it. Yeah. So that's our that's our hot relationship tip. <laughs> F- we followed the doctor's orders, as I said. So hopefully you can find some time with your partner or a girlfriend or a friend or mm. you know what? Go by yourself. It's all good. Just getting out of your usual routine and giving yourself a bit of a break. So hopefully you can find some time to do that. We loved it. Indeed. And if you have a little extra time yourself, please, would you take some time to give us a rating here at Separate Bathrooms? Leave a review because it helps us get the word out to a larger audience. And that's uh, that's only going to be a good thing. For you guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> For everybody. For everyone. <laughs> we love it. It helps us get the, get the message out when you yeah. do things, when you help us too. So thanks so much. Thanks for listening. Catch us on the next one.